Today we're tackling a hot topic in investing. Is gold a good investment strategy over the long term? We'll start by identifying a common problem with investors facing, and then we'll compare gold's performance to the overall market and adjusting for inflation. Let's jump right in. With market volatility and inflation concerns, many investors are looking for safe havens for their money. Gold has long been considered a reliable store of value and a hedge against economic uncertainties. But is it the best choice to compare to other investments like stocks? Let's break it down. First, let's look at the pros of investing in gold. Number one, hedge against inflation. Gold is often seen as a safeguard against inflation. When the cost of living rises, the value of gold tends to increase, helping preserve your purchasing power. Number two, diversification. Including gold in your portfolio can provide diversification. Gold often behaves differently from stocks and bonds, which can reduce the overall risk in your portfolio. But be careful with this one because commodities have underperformed the overall markets the last 10 plus years. Number three, historical stability. Over centuries, gold has retained its value and has been a reliable asset during times of economic instability. Before we jump on the gold rush, just remember gold isn't without its drawbacks. Let's take a look at the cons. Number one, limited growth potential. Unlike stocks, gold doesn't produce income or dividends. Its value is primarily driven by market demand and historically it has provided a lower long-term return compared to equities. Number two, volatility. While gold can be a safe haven during crises, it can also experience price swings, so ups and downs in the market, which might not be ideal for risk adverse investors. Number three, no income generation. Gold does not generate income like dividends from stocks or interest from bonds, which can be a disadvantage for income focused investors. So now let's compare gold's performance to the S&P 500 adjusting for inflation. Historically speaking, the S&P 500, which represents a broad range of U.S. stocks, so the largest companies in, in the U.S., has delivered higher than average returns than gold. For instance, over the past several decades, the S&P 500 has provided an annualized return of about 7 to 10 percent after adjusting for inflation. In contrast, gold's inflation adjusted return over that same time frame has been much lower, around 1 or 2 percent. While gold can protect against inflation and economic instability, it hasn't matched the long-term returns that the markets have done. So is gold a good investment strategy? It could possibly be a valuable component of an overall globally diversified portfolio, especially if you're concerned with inflation or market volatility. However, if your goal is long-term growth, then equities have historically offered better returns, even after adjusting for inflation. I would rather invest my money in the great companies of the world that produce goods and services than uh, to invest in gold that may or may not give you the returns you're looking for. Ultimately, the right choice depends on your individual financial goals, your risk tolerance, and your investment time horizon. Diversifying across a bunch of different asset classes, including stocks, bonds, and real estate, might be the best approach to balance the stability and growth. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this analysis helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button for more investment insights and drop any questions or comments below. How do you feel about gold as an investment over the long term? We'd love to hear from you and we'll see you on the next one.